I am uh, puzzled by something. I have a number of friends who are good-hearted people. Like, I think that they have just as good of a heart as I do, or or just their intentions are just as good. They want good for humans for for life. But yeah, we, we all have positive intentionality. However, I, I have a handful of friends who don't use logic and reason as their their foundation. And that's kind of, I'm talking to you today, and I'm I'm not so much telling you anything today. Many of my videos are offering little pieces of advice based on what I have learned uh, over the years and uh, showing the conclusions of thought experiments I've done or things I've worked out rationally and logically, etc. But today is more of a question. And today's question is, how do you figure stuff out if you don't use logic or reason? or that combination. And, and so the the frequent argument is, well, logic and reason don't get you the whole picture. You have to think about emotion. You have to think about how people feel. And all of that is relevant. And you shouldn't just exclude that when you think about social science, about how all of us human critters live together, how society works, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, how it should work, how we could improve it, etc. So that is my big question, is how, not what you think, because that's easy, we, we all can just think something, but, but it's the system for how we come to conclusions. And that is what I have not been able to figure out, how a person is able to do that without logic and reason. For me, as a person who believes in logic and reason, if a particular issue is presented, uh, I look at it, I look at what my values are, I look at what the other person's values are, how high uh, we rank a certain thing in, in terms of our personal, how much we value it personally. And so I look at that and, and I look at logic, which is, is kind of the, the science, the, the rules of communication, of how we speak to each other, how we debate ideas. And then I look at reason, which is more of just how things are, uh, more of a, a gravity kind of thing. It's a, it's a science of things human, things social. Um, it's not just the language, it goes beyond that. Uh, it's more of a, a physics kind of thing, the physics of, of humanity. Uh, and I guess it goes beyond just the social aspects of it. I guess it would, it would, you could use it for physical things as well to say that it's not reasonable that a person who has a lifting capability of 100 pounds could lift something that weighs 10,000 pounds all by themselves without uh, assistance of a tool. So that would be a reason based thing. So if you're not using that and you're not adhering to those rules of debate, how do you then decide things? Uh, and I, I truly don't know because every argument that I come up with, and of course when I say argument, I mean that in a very fun, positive manner. I love arguing big topics with friends. But if there's some issue, if I toss out a quote that some person made that I really like what that quote says or what it means, and then you want to argue with it, if you if your argument is completely emotional and doesn't have any reason or logic to it, how then can I respond to that? How should I respond so that it's comfortable for you? Do, do you have a system? So if, we, if you have decided that the system of logic, reason, that that's a bad system, or it's not even bad, if it's just one you choose not to use, is there a replacement system, and how can I go about learning the basics of that system? Um, I, I would be very curious about that. Uh, and so if you would like an example, um, the rest of this video will just be, I'll, I'm just kind of on the, off the cuff here, uh, trying to think of an example, but, but why don't we think about uh, me saying uh, a person does not, just because they want something or need something, that want or need 
does not give them title, rightful title, to someone else's property. And I think stealing is wrong. And stealing is when you take something that doesn't belong to you from somebody who, you know, wasn't voluntarily offering it up and doesn't want to give it to you. So if we kind of started with that, the, that those fundamentals, that foundation, then I can easily argue my point using logic and reason. But then when the response is illogical, unreasonable, if you respond to me and say, well, yeah, but you can't just, what are you going to do if you have somebody with no arms and no legs? They have to be able to eat. So are you saying they should starve to death? Well, that is just an absolute illogical, unreasonable, intellectually unfair, rude comeback that I've heard many times. But how do I then respond to that? Because I can respond logically and reasonably and say, no, I didn't say I wanted anybody to starve to death. A person with no arms and no legs to starve to death. Didn't say I wanted that. Um, I just said that you can't, just because that person wants or needs food does not mean that they automatically, somehow magically have the right to food. I don't believe that they do. And then the response that I would often get to that is, well, you just want them to starve. Well, no, I, I have no desire for them to starve. If you would like to start a charity and help provide food to people with no arms and no legs, I'll, it's very likely that I'll donate to it. Like, I support that. It sounds like a really good idea. I feel sorry for somebody that's in a tough situation like that. So that would be my response. And then the response that I hear back is frequently, well, you just don't don't realize that human beings were here together as one we're not individuals we're one big group and we should be we should help each other you can judge a society by how much they help the most drowned downtrodden among them and then i would say well that is your opinion that is your preference perhaps my preference is that without working on it or being disciplined that I could weigh 220 pounds and be able to bench press 500 pounds and be able to run marathons effortlessly. Well, those are just kind of wishes, emotions, kinds of things. And so we could say stuff like that, but if we're having a serious intellectual conversation and we truly want to move humanity forward, I don't know by what system uh, or what system I can use to argue with you in a, in a again, in a kind way, trying to come to conclusions that, that make sense. I hope this example was helpful, um, and I really, truly am looking for ways to communicate with people. If you are one of those people who do not trust logic and reason completely and intellectual consistency and all that, I am looking for a way to communicate with you. Um, I already know how to communicate very well with people who use the other system. I legitimately want to learn from you. So please tell me the system, the how, about how I can argue with a person who does not adhere to logic, reason, intellectual consistency. Thank you.